Hi everyone and hello Fumika-san. Um, so how have you been living in the, the curfew? Uh, the eight o'clock? The state of emergency. Yes. In the state of emergency. All, all the restaurants, uh, all the izakaya closed most. <laughs> at eight o'clock, right? Compared to last year, I do occasionally go and grab food. <laughs> Yeah, at go and grab food. <laughs> Rest- I grab, grab food, food at restaurants. At restaurants. Yeah, but, but of course not past eight. Like uh-huh, if I'm uh-huh. out um, because of work. Yeah, I mean you have to support the restaurants yeah. as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I do that too. Mm-hmm. I mean go to um, restaurants that are, I'm familiar with. Mm-hmm. Um, and you just you know, feel comfortable with, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I go early. Mm-hmm. Um, Five o'clock mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. start dinner around that time mm-hmm. when I don't I mean, when I have a day off, mm-hmm. and and then leave around seven fifty-five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's, That's true. actually a long time. That's right. Yeah. No, but I mean, it kind of feels like taboo to actually mention that you go to restaurants mm. in a mm-hmm, way. You know, mm-hmm. you kind of want to hide it. I mean, the younger people are just like, yeah, who cares? But it's like, of course, I'm very cautious and I'm, yeah. you know, always careful. If I do go with someone, I usually just go by myself to get a quick bite because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get bored of my own cooking. Mm-hmm. But um, if I do go with someone, compared to last year, I'm always definitely um, putting my mask on in between like every bite, yeah, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's such a hassle, but I know mm-hmm. it's going to be better for mm-hmm. the better. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, but I'm dealing with it better than last year. I see. For sure, uh-huh. getting used to it. Yeah. So, some of the outdoor restaurants are becoming more popular mm-hmm, than mm-hmm. before. Yeah, for sure. I mean, during the winter time, it used to be very, very cold. Mm-hmm. But now we care more about um, you know, being the in ventilation, a, being yeah, in, yeah. you know, so, good so environment. Yeah. Many of the restaurants open the the, the windows mm-hmm, and the door, mm-hmm. so it's a bit cold. Yeah. But, but um, you don't care. I don't. I don't, I, care. I don't mind it. As mm-hmm. I feel like it's safer if mm-hmm. there's restaurants like that. But there's a chanko restaurant. Chanko is for uh, like sumo um, kind of nabe food. The hot pot. Hot, hot pot yeah. food. And there's a there's a, a chanko restaurant that I'm familiar with. I go there sometimes, and th- they have the door open. They have the window open. It's it's freezing cold inside. But uh, they're they're. Official uniform is t shirt. <gasps> so, oh, no. so the workers there, the guys there are like shivering. Because uh-huh. they, they're not actually eating and getting warm. No, right, yeah. right. Yeah. I feel sorry it. for them. Yeah. But I'm telling them that you should wear something uh-huh. inside. No or, one's going to, yeah, uh, mind. Saying, this is our uniform. Mm-hmm. Are they like sumo wrestlers or are they like. They're a bit built? big. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're a bit big, but still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, um,. So it's been a while. Um, uh, what was I trying to say? Okay, so, so, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I mention one thing? Yeah. So there's so you know how I've been going to Noge, where it's like the small Noge? restaurants, like the drinking oh, area yeah, in Yokohama, yeah, yeah. In Yokohama. It's Yokohama. like mm-hmm. the standing bars and stuff. I yeah. miss, of course, you know, I'm I can't wait to the day we can go to places the like packed. that. Yeah. And then you're, no ventilation, you're, packed. It's like you your know, shoulders touching the, exactly, exactly. the guy next door, yeah. and not not next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you miss that. I miss that because obviously it's like I'm not gonna put myself in that kind of place. I know of I, I actually know it's still crowded because the young people oh, yeah. are still like uh-huh, going uh-huh, and stuff. But uh-huh. um, yeah, I, of course I avoid places like that. Mm-hmm. But I can't wait to till the day that we can all feel safe and go again. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So what's safe? is mm-hmm. outdoor restaurant mm-hmm. and um, there's a story about an outdoor restaurant mm-hmm. in Dakugo and it's a story about a soba shop soba outdoor noodle yeah uh-huh. outdoor because uh, back in the days they they didn't really have a, a shop for some of some soba shops the big ones had a big shop but other otherwise they had a something like a stool you know a booth mm-hmm. and they they carried it on with their shoulder, mm-hmm. the soba oh, shop. Oh, okay. So not like a store. It was like a vendor, yeah. like a. It was like a vendor booth or yatai something. Oh, yatai. Yeah, now, okay, now we have it on wheels, right? Mm-hmm. Yatai, but they had this, and, and it was like a small house with with a bar in the middle, and then they would be carrying mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. and in the front and the back there would be dishes and and uh, bowls and and fire and stuff like that to to cook mm-hmm. and so they'd be carrying it going soba and so and then if there's a 
customer, they would stop and, and then start cooking and then they would serve soba. So, so that's, that's safe now, mm -hmm. outdoor eating. It's, it's, a, it's like a portable restaurant. Yeah, portable wow. restaurant. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And they usually uh, did business at night. Mm -hmm. So they would go out um, around the town and then people would be stopping and eating a hot bowl of soba, you know, cooked right there. And this story is called so Toki Soba, which means time soba or time mm -hmm. noodle. Mm -hmm. And um, so, it, and it's it's a trick um, that they use in this story. Okay, there's a trick in this story, but I'll, I'll talk about that. And uh, the vocabulary for this time, actually, I was I I, I started this system last time. Okay. Um, what should I say? I should um, rejuvenate. Mm -hmm. Rejuvenate. Rejuvenate mm -hmm. is the vocabulary for okay. this this time. Okay. And maybe if I have a chance, I will also use groundless. Groundless. Okay. Okay. And rejuvenate. What does it mean? Rejuvenate. Like to re make fresh again. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. May make okay. young again. Okay. Right. And then groundless is something that has no fact. You know, mm -hmm. no unfounded. Kind of empty groundless yeah like groundless accusation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is okay. something not based on fact mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah empty yeah like empty. not proven not mm -hmm. like yeah okay mm -hmm. so i use those words okay if i have a chance <laughs> if i if i remember it's just something that i do for myself okay to increase my vocabulary yes so um there's a there's a guy who comes to the soba shop and he orders a bowl of soba and this guy is a talkative guy and he compliments many things for example he says um wow this chopstick you're using this is a, a wooden chopstick you know new waribashi um in, in other places they use uh, you know hashi and they they wash it and they reuse it but um you never know s s if someone used it before, you know, who used it before? Now, I like this waribashi. Mm -hmm. It's fresh, new. Mm -hmm. and, then he, and he looks at the bowl and says, wow, this, this is a great bowl. I mean, you have a saying from the old days, if you have a good bowl, the inside the food gets better. And I think it's true. <clears throat> you know? mm -hmm. If you have a good bowl, it, it rises your, you know, feelings, mm -hmm. raises your feelings mm -hmm. and you feel better and the food tastes better. Wow, wow, you, you never see such a good good bowl in soba shops. And and then he smells mm -hmm. the soup and says, Wow, this is amazing. I'm a soba eater and I can tell if this is good or bad by the smell. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is amazing. And then he sips the soup and he goes, So this is a, a, a popular Rakugo movement like you have a hot bowl of soba right and then he would go <sighs> delicious Sounds good. wow mm -hmm. this broth that you've created you put a lot of katsu bushi <laughs> right i know wow <sighs> ah wow this is so exciting and, and then he goes for the soba. I don't have my uh, fan, so I'm using <laughs> the fan. But, okay, so, and then he looks at it and see, this is real soba. It has to be thin. Okay, some other places, they have fat soba like udon. Mm -hmm. That's not for Edo people like us. I mean, we like thin noodle, you know, needle-like noodle, the soba. This is great. And then he goes, wow. And then he slurps it, the Japanese style. Mm -hmm. So you go. <laughs> mm. Getting hungry. <laughs> wow! It's it bounces back, and this the soba has strength. It's great soba! Wow! And then he looks for chikua mm -hmm. inside the soup picks it up and says, wow, this is chikua. And, and you 
cut it so so wide, so big. Wow. In other places, it's like paper thin. But, but this is thick. Wow. And he eats it. And this is real chikua. In other places, they have fake chikua. You know, not chikua. Chikua boo. But you're mm -hmm. using real chikua. Chikua is like fish, what? Um, fish meat. Fish meat stuck together. Um, long thing with a hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fish meat <laughs> sausage with a hole, kind of. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, wow, this is amazing. He, he makes compliments for the sober shop. Mm -hmm. And then when he has to pay for the money, okay, okay, wow, this was great. And uh, I, I would have wanted one more bowl, but I'm a, a bit full right now. So, okay, excuse me for just eating one bowl. But uh, I'm going to pay. How much is it? And the guy says, 60 mun. Mun is the unit of money in the old mm -hmm. days. It's about 20 yen right now. So 16 mun would be like 300 yen, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So 60 mun. Okay. Well, the, uh, the coins I have are really small. So um, can you... Um, stick your hands and and i'll pay inside and he goes okay here you go and he goes one two three four five six seven eight and then he says hey what time is it the noodle shop man says uh it's nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and he goes and the guy is watching this and he's saying wow what a talkative guy and he makes that compliments i mean he's a customer mm -hmm. he's paying money he shouldn't just talk like that he, sh he should be like a customer mm -hmm. and eat it and if it's good he should say okay it was delicious that's it you don't have to make compliments that much and then but but he's thinking wow that was strange because he asked the time while he was paying for the money mm -hmm. you know wh why was he doing that i mean it's strange he, he went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What time is it? Nine o'clock, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's strange. He's stupid. I mean, he should have just said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What time is it? It's nine. Okay. Well, that would be it. Why did he have to ask in the middle? And then he keeps on saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 o'clock, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> wait, wait, it, it, it fits completely. W what's, what's going on here? He goes, wait, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What time is it? 9 o'clock, 10. Huh? <laughs> wait, 10 should be like this. Mm -hmm. Why is it like this? Hey, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What time is it? 9 o'clock, 10. Wait, 9 o'clock? So he wasn't paying at the count of nine. He was making the noodle shop man say nine. And then he went, ten. oh, he said one more. How clever. I'm going to do it. And this day he's <laughs> going to do it. And then the next day, this guy, the, the foolish guy, mm -hmm. um, collects some, you know, small money, uh, one more coin, and then goes uh, outside a bit earlier than the night before and he does the same thing and in the end um he he fails complimenting he tries to compliment many things but he fails it was a different soba shop man mm -hmm. and, and this this next soba shop man is a little twisted guy mm -hmm. so he talks back um each time he tries to compliment and then in the end he tries to pay the money but but he he's looking for that moment right and so uh, he's going, all right, mm -hmm. I was waiting for this time. All right, so how much is it? He says, 60 mon. All right, I'm going to show you what I can do. And then he goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What time is it? And the sober shop man says, it's four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. <laughs> so, he, so, yeah. so he fails. <laughs> and, and that's the, that's the story. <laughs> So that's a trick. Is that the ochi? Is that the? Yeah, that's oh, the ochi. <laughs> I've never heard of this one. Oh really? Yeah. Are you gonna? Is it? Have you done it in English? No. And I'm going to explain to you why I have not done this. Okay. Because this trick is a bit difficult. The time trick. Mm -hmm. Now, when you think about it, the first night it was nine o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. It was nine. Mm -hmm. And then the next guy 
goes out a bit early, and it's four this mm-hmm, time, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's it sounds strange because I mean you would know the difference between nine and four, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Who would be so stupid to to mistake that time mm-hmm. when you're considering from the modern um, concept of time? Mm-hmm. But the way to count time was different in during the Edo era, mm-hmm, and okay. that's what I'm going to. Introduce to you. Okay. okay. <laughs> so there's so, no clock. Okay. Uh, I've I prepared a very very detailed okay. um, uh, picture. Okay. For for you. Okay. Okay. Please please watch okay. this. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna show it into the camera. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. So it goes like this. Now the outside is the modern way of um, counting time. Maybe if you can tilt it a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect. And then you've, you've, I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Just, just hide me, and then. Can I hide you? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, And then, so the outside is the modern way of counting time. Okay. Right. Outside. So zero, zero. Noon or yeah. Or midnight. A midnight. Okay. And then that's two, three, four, six. Yes. And, and then it goes back to zero and it becomes PM, right? Okay, yeah. So AM and PM zero at the top. Uh-huh. And at the bottom, AM and PM six, mm-hmm. right? And But the inside is the Edo way of counting time. And so zero, midnight, is nine. Okay, are you missing some numbers? Okay, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, it starts from nine. Nine, yeah. Right? And then two o'clock, it goes by two hours. Uh-huh. So um, two o'clock is eight. Okay. Four o'clock is seven, uh-huh. right? And six o'clock is six. And, and then okay. it goes like that. So it, it, they didn't divide it into hours. They, it was divided into 12 parts the day, 12 parts. And then after four, it becomes nine again. So... <laughs> Noon would be nine again, and midnight would be nine. And they didn't say, nowadays you say ichiji, niji, when you call the time, right? Uh, But uh, in the old days, they said just kokonotsu, yatsu, Uh nanatsu, no toki. So it would be kokonotsu no toki? Yeah. For time of nine. Yeah, time of nine. Time of eight. Time of eight, yeah. Goes like that. So, the thing is, the first night, the customer was nine o'clock, right? Mm-hmm. So it was um, around midnight, mm-hmm. very late at night. And then, the second night, it was four. So it was about 10 o'clock. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait. So let's show that again. So not so much Oops. of a difference in time so it was what was it the first night it was nine he was eating at midnight coconuts this that's actually weird too but okay. yeah and yeah then, and, and then this person was eating at 10 10 yotsu oh. so so they were open very very late uh-huh. right so that's the trick I see. and and that's the difficult part mm-hmm. i mean because so i have to make a, a different trick for this um, story to work in English so that you can understand in in modern time. Uh-huh. But actually, you know what? Even if we don't understand the yeah, Japanese yeah. way, I mean, it's, you know, it's a good lesson uh-huh. to learn how to count. Uh-huh. But um, we can just go. I think it's, it was the strong it made, style. It made sense because, yeah. I mean, I eat when I'm like working too late mm-hmm. and I miss lunch. Mm-hmm. I go at like three or four, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or yeah, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I I didn't even like feel it was weird. Okay. It was just like it was more of like the play with numbers that right, was right, actually right, right. really interesting. Right. So I didn't really find May- it. Maybe yeah, maybe you can um, fool um, eighty percent of the uh, audience. Maybe I think so. Well, I mean, b- because you didn't tell us the whole full story right, that right, you right. usually do. Maybe mm-hmm. there's more content mm-hmm. about the timing and stuff like that. Is there? Oh, the guy saying, "Oh, it's you know, it's it's night. You know, it's cold tonight." So, so he's saying tonight, uh, and so okay, it okay. can be an evening time. 
So maybe maybe if I'm going to do it, you know, first night would be nine o'clock, and then second night would be eight o'clock. But then that would not be a, a that big of a difference. Big right? difference, yeah. Because when you said four and he loses so much money, yeah. it was like you know that was like really funny. But uh huh, uh huh. Oh, there's got to be a way that you can change yeah. it though. Or I may have to use some pun, so mm. something like not F O U R four, but four F O R four. Mm-hmm. Or um, if the uh, mm. to to use combine that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, no, I mean I have to figure out. You be, be probably because you it was the first time for me to hear the story. Mm-hmm. Never even like seen or it. Or maybe maybe how about this? Uh-huh. So he went out a little later. Mm-hmm. So the first night would be twelve o'clock. Uh-huh. So which is the same, right? Yeah. And then the second night would be one o'clock. Second night would be one o'clock, like one a.m. One a.m. Uh-huh. So if we're going to use that trick, then it would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What time is it? 12, 13, uh-huh, 14, uh-huh. 15. And then the second night would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What time is it? It's 1, 2, 3, 5. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Maybe. No, that gets it. I think for me, <laughs> this is just much. my opinion. It yeah. kind of makes it even more confusing because uh-huh, uh-huh. the number kind of goes down. Yeah. From 12 to 1. Right. It's like, wait, is it? So you say it's midnight. Like it's, past it's a bit later. Yeah, yeah. Later First night, at it's one. very, very late at night. Mm-hmm. I would say that. And then he, he um, had some trouble collecting the little coins. Mm-hmm. And so he had to leave a little bit later than the night before or something like that. Mm. Maybe. I, I'll have to find a good way to um, make this um, story work in English. Work, yeah. It works in Japanese though, right? It works in Japanese. And I mean, people... they, they kind of take it for granted. I mean, I don't think... Everyone People, yeah. knows the actual system, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but they know that the time, the way to count time was different mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in some way. Mm-hmm. So they wouldn't be doubting too much about nine and four mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because they wouldn't think it's nine o'clock and four o'clock right now. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. But so I'm, maybe mm-hmm. when I do this in English, I wouldn't be able to say something o'clock. So it's the time of nine or something like that Mm -hmm. or yeah maybe if i say that then how did wait how did you just tell me the story a few minutes ago nine i said what time is it it's nine ten eleven twelve Mm -hmm, i mm -hmm. just said that okay so that that should work maybe yeah i mean i think it makes total sense maybe you can make it to like five instead of nine because five people eat dinner at five too yeah so Mm -hmm. but i mean i don't know i feel like this is like a story that would totally relate in english Mm -hmm. like people would understand just because it's more of a um and it's it's really really comical the way the second guy tries to copy imitate the first guy Uh and then he fails every compliment he he tries to make Mm -hmm. is not accepted by the 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 shop yeah Yeah, shop And he fails, 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 and then he tries to do a revenge, and then he fails again at mm-hmm, the end. Mm-hmm. It's a funny story, yeah. Mm. Maybe I'll do it completely in the same way and, and see how it works. Mm. Right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think maybe some people will be like, mm, but then the, the important thing is the mm-hmm. play on numbers, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I mean, just hearing that like synopsis of it was just really funny, and I wanted to hear the whole thing. Great, great. It, this is probably one of the stories that would just like really relate to kids too. It would. It would. They wouldn't be thinking too much about the the time. You know, wait, wait, mm-hmm. why? Why yeah, is he exactly, you know, yeah. nine o'clock the first day, and then four o'clock? Mm-hmm, just, just mm-hmm. the the comical. Yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do work. that, and then maybe I can um, rejuvenate. The <laughs> <laughs> this is so out of context and the groundless uh <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but i think uh, yeah you've probably known this story too long and mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. depth too much that yeah. you're kind of like worried about it uh-huh. but for a first timer i okay. feel like it was just like oh, wow. something that you don't have to be even be worried about or maybe okay. you can kind of change like some of the words maybe being like at night in just to like today or yeah, something you know yeah. something like more broad uh-huh but it was i just... guess yeah maybe we're getting a bit too skeptical about um you know if the story is real enough mm-hmm. and things like mm-hmm. that but mm-hmm. people don't um request that much yeah the reality, reality yeah the... because 
a lot of the stories, it's like, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, it's right, like, right, you know, but we don't really think too much about it, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's more of like a fairy tale world. It's like, I mean, and you know, it's we more just... about looking at the the person who is um, you know, trying to um, imitate the the guy and then failing and his reactions towards failing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's that's comical, right? Mm-hmm. I guess so. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. I think, yeah. Um, please perform this fully on oh yeah on this oh yeah okay i will on, on this on this youtube yeah mm-hmm. i think it'll work and then maybe all right <laughs> you're, still, <laughs> you're still using that <laughs> yeah yeah I, I should try that and then maybe wow, I really like yeah great after all uh-huh. right w- with this and I'll, I'll give you this and you can press the button okay all right yeah 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 <laughs> no but this is like one of the ones that Probably next time you ask me which one, which one was one of your favorites, mm-hmm. it's like Okiku's plate, obviously, which mm-hmm. you haven't introduced on this. YouTube you know, yet. you like the counting stuff. I, I do. I do. <laughs> For some now reason. That you mention it. <laughs> That's plate counting as well. One, <laughs> two, three, four. And this, is, this is time. Yeah. Yeah. But this You're is obsessed probably. obsessed with counting. Numbers, numbers, maybe. Numbers. But this is another one that I would definitely raise to the top. Oh, of great. My, great. Yeah, list. I'll do that the next, um, uh, next show. Um, if you can do I'll it do fully. This. Yeah. I think it would mm-hmm. be good. Yeah. All right. Yep. <laughs> good to hear that. So Toki Soba. Well, toki soba. Uh, yeah, the fact that Toki, like time, is mm-hmm. in the actual, you know, title, mm-hmm. it probably makes a really big, like, difference. Mm-hmm. And you, I don't know, I feel like you're putting too much focus on the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was, it totally That's made true, sense. because when I do it in Japanese, I don't really think about it. Mm-hmm. So when I tra- try to translate it, I... I Try to make it too understandable, maybe. I'm trying to make it, um, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. W- with no doubt understandable. But then there, there can be some, you know, areas or that like don't, gray yeah. areas, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, it's some totally parts fine. that are unexplained mm-hmm. when telling the story. And I, I, I was thinking if I have to explain this much before I go into the story, that will take out the fun of the story, right? So I don't have to do that. You don't have maybe. to do that. I mean, you can All just right. like round it up and just be like, okay, well, and you know. And then maybe after the story, maybe mm-hmm. I can just slightly explain the time mm-hmm. time difference. Because mm-hmm. even if you explain it, it's like I still don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> so That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, no okay. one. Yeah. And I even, can ignore that then. Even in the Western culture, I'm sure like medieval times had a different way of, th- you know, time. True. Because, you know, this whole 12 hours or 24 mm-hmm. hours is like a recent or like, you know recent thing so yeah. people will understand just because that's how time has changed nice. you know so i think it's a story that would be relatable in any language wow. it's probably one of the ones that would be the mm-hmm. most relatable okay mm-hmm. well i i trust you mm-hmm. I'll, <laughs> I'll um teach you just one one little tip okay so we say snacks in japanese oyatsu right uh-huh. oyatsu is because you ate it at yatsu yatsu no toki Yatsudoki. Uh, time of eight. Uh huh. Around two o'clock. Oh. Uh, after lunch. I see. I see. So, so that's why it's called oyatsu. Really? It comes from the time. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Is that something people usually know? Some rakugo lovers would <laughs> probably know. <laughs> or just people who love Japanese culture mm, would yeah, probably yeah, know. Yeah. Yatsu. I never even thought of that. Mm-hmm. Where the word came from. Oyatsu. Yatsu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it gets complicated, but, but there's another way of calling the times uh, um, according to the uh, eto, the, oh, the okay. year. Mm-hmm. Ne, 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 ne ushitora. Ushitora, uh-huh. So something like the ghosts appear at Ushimitsudoki. Can you, you, have you heard the word Ushimitsudoki? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. well, that appears. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'll do that sometime again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Um, there's interesting interesting things that you need to teach us and me yeah yes all right i'll think about that next Mm -hmm. time Mm -hmm. all right so uh, i'll see you in two weeks again Mm -hmm. this one was a bit long i guess yeah so uh we'll make the next one very short Mm -hmm. okay (laughs) okay (laughs) sounds good thanks for listening bye-bye bye